So did he run down a mountain? Yeah. yeah he reached, I angled away from him a little, but pretty much straight down. And he ran flat out too. He yeah. still didn't come up the whole time. <laughs> Okay, you gotta tell us why we're up here, here for the, you to turn your light out. Oh, I turn my light out. <laughs> we are up here, we gather here together today. <laughs> nah, nothing that depressing. Um, at 5.10 this evening, I had a buck of indeterminate points, but he looked pretty, pretty big to me. I know he had at least three up on one side come cruising by me. I got an arrow in him at about 5.12, I jumped down checked for the arrow there was blood a profuse amount of blood right at impact but I did not hear the deer crash I saw I lost him about 80 yards as he ran straight down the mountain and couldn't find him in my binoculars so backed out called in all the reinforcements so we got all the troops here all the troops all the troops are ugly. <laughs> we're gonna huck up the mountain see if we can lay hands on them them big deer they don't crash they just lay down some. What do you think of that blood? Not much. No, what kind of blood do you think it is? Hey boys, shut up. It's right there on that little limb right there. Yeah right, yeah, right here. Right there. Right there. Right there on that sapling. Right there. Looks like it went down through here. It does. I see right blood there. up there. Yep, right there. Right there's more. I mean, that's a leaf. Yeah, it's a leaf. Right, right here. here. You want to last right there? Blood. Oh. Right here on this leaf is blood. Whoa, look at that leaf. Where'd you find that one? Way back there. I only saw the top of it. It only had a little bit of blood. Then I flipped it over and it had a lot of blood on the other side. Wow. Look at that blood. Kurt. What? I found that leaf. Look like bubbly? The bubbles in it right here. Found it on the ground back here. Right here, there's Upside bubbles down. all over it right there. Oh yeah. Heard like that. Yeah. Some on this tree right here. Some on that leaf right there. Kurt almost stepped on it. Right there's blood. Right there. Yep. Don't tell them we're going to find no What's that? Hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. Oh, yeah, big old spot. Looks like he's putting more out. There's some. Right here. You know, I found that already. They're looking for me. That's the last. What do you got? It's right there on that stick. Uh -huh.
this. What do you think of that blood? I'm not sure what to think of it. Right here is a drop right here. Don't look dark enough to be liver to me. It's like muscle blood. Right there. There's some. Right here. Come on, that. Buck, right there. Dead buck, straight in front of you. See his rack sticking up? Oh, oh yeah. Woo. What do you think of that blood? Looks good. <laughs> yes, sir. Holy crap. He's begging. he break off. No, he's stuck underneath there. He's begging. Always oh, got a sticker on the bottom. He's big. On one side. He's big. Big old boy. Oh, man. I pinned his shoulder. Wow. What? I don't know where the end is, but the Audi looks dandy. Hold up a little bit. Man, I was just starting to. Oh, man, look at them parcels. He is all rutted up. Wow. He's a big boy. Big old boy. That's a big deal. That's the hoss and pepper there. Big old buck. Oh. Wow, you big. Looks, wow. It looks like he's missing a brow tie. Never had one. Never had one. Seven. Yeah. That's a big old seven, my friend. Nice. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's an old mountain there. buck there. Mm. Well, I just had eight to eight find out that I'm not shaving. What? <laughs> What? That's a 130 inch buck if I ever seen one. 130. <laughs> sure. That's a lot of inches. Sweet. How wide he is. It's kind of an eight. Look at that little kicker. He's got a little nub there at the bottom. I don't he know tried, if he's... he tried to be an eight point, but he didn't quite make it. Can't quite hang a ring on that, I don't think. Close enough. I think you better throw him. Let me over, James. I want to see where I hit him. You better throw him back. He's not fully mature. Oh, yeah. Probably the near thing there. Oh, yeah. I pinned his off High lung. Shoulder. Huh? I think I pinned his off shut shoulder. No push. arrow. I wonder if it did go through. It had to. Looks like There's blood on the outside. For sure. He's just like every other deer. He's sticking his tongue out. <laughs> <laughs> He's sticking it out right at me. Nice. Buddy, Solid. that's a nice buck there. I'll say. Yeah. Can I get him mounted for his big head? I don't know. What do you think he spreads? He's got a thick old neck. 17? What? 17 inside, I'd say. I think At least. he's bigger than he's About the size of the one I shot out in my back window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have to climb up the mountain. Yeah. That's going to be a lot more painful than that one, I yeah. can guarantee you. It definitely will. I killed one out in my back window. I was just getting ready to here. say, man, we got like... Muscle blood, this ain't good. Back window. <laughs> Very nice. There's horns off. Yeah. He's stiff. I think he was dead pretty quick, Kurt. Beautiful. Dandy. That is a nice buck. The Tuscarora Mountain giveth again. That's bigger than your other one. Oh, yeah. I'd say, yeah. I can get that mounted. I like that seven better than your eight. You give the first hundred? Huh? <laughs> first yeah. hundred? Take up an offering here. I don't even have a hundred. Oh man. That's definitely you pretty on the high side like there. That ain't too bad. <laughs> Where do you head where do you go in at? Right Oops, there. Sorry, Jay. Wow. Definitely Look top third. Yeah, that's pretty high. But, it, but he it was ex close. It exited right there, though. Yeah, he was cl real close. So they either he got both lungs or might point. even across the top of the herd. Hold that up there real quick. Yeah. He tried to be an eight point. That's a dandy. Can at least see he tried to be Yeah, that's nice. All right, we'll get this gutted out and then you boys let okay, it Okay, let me take a picture. Off here. Yeah, buddy. Uh, where's the deer park? <laughs> Sorry, Stay dude. back there for a little while. Let me turn around here to see it. Yeah, he's nice for sure. Wow, oh, wow he's heavy. Mm -hmm. He's he a big old boy. <laughs> hands down, I'm not covering anything up there. Somebody shining a light indirectly on him. Like, yay? Yeah. Got enough flashlights here, we're able to pull it off the picture. I got three more here, didn't he? 
I can. Remember the last too. one I shot James? We tried to take a picture of a cell phone, both ours were dead. Yeah, I do remember that. Let me lay this down there, Nate. Where do you want me to shine it at? Shoo wee! It's got some girth on them. <laughs> All right, there it is. So we picked up first blood at the tree. Um, was pretty pinprick here and there for about 20 yards, and then we had good blood for about another 30 or 40. Then started getting sparse. He kept on his running track, found a couple more spots of blood, and then it started getting better again. But I was getting nervous because we found one one leaf about 30 yards in looked like it had some bubbles in it. Benny found it. And then after that, most of the blood that we were getting was pulled up. It looked like muscle blood. It was real bright red, but it wasn't bubbly. So I was starting to get nervous that I had a either front shoulder or rear ham or something. But I didn't didn't have lighted knocks on it. I, it was five minutes of last light when I shot, so it was difficult to see where I hit him. I just saw a mule kick when I shot, so I thought I had him pretty good. But as it turns out, I hit him about two-thirds of the way up, and it exited on the offside right above the, the knuckle there on his leg. So the deer was about six yards from the tree when I shot it. Um, heard him coming behind me. But I couldn't find them because it was getting dark. Shooting lights 521, and it was uh, about 512 when I shot. But in the woods, it's dark quicker than if you're sitting a field edge. So I'm looking, looking. I had my back to a tree. It was coming dead behind me. When I finally found him, or when I finally saw him, I should say, he was about 40 yards and walking right at the tree. So I'm trying to figure out which side of the tree he's going to go on because if he's going to come to my right, I needed to pivot and shoot him. But he decided to go to the left of the tree, which was my bow side. Walked past the tree, and there's a tree about six yards away. And as soon as he cleared that tree, I squeezed it off. I thought about stopping him, but these mountain deer are spooky. And a lot of times, if you try to met at them, they take off. So I just, he was just walking. He wasn't trotting or anything. So I, I was on him. So I let her rip, and I didn't hear him crash. I think he probably just ran himself out. But. Pretty sweet. My next to last day of the season. Tomorrow is Saturday. It's going to be about 13th. It's going to be the last day I was going to be able to hunt. So this is the last of the days I took for vacation from work. So it worked out. Let's get a side view of that monster mountain side. rack. No brow tine on the right side. Yeah. Sticking his tongue out again. Heavy beam though. Boy, that other side. That's nice. I was playing Border Patrol, since this is Perry County Whitetails, we are on the Juniata side of the mountain. Um, he, I don't think there's a river on top of the mountain, so he must have climbed the wall trying to get away, but uh, we, we corralled him here. We'll that is a Perry County deer, there's we'll, no we'll, doubt. You can we'll tell by looking at him. Back to the right side of the river. <laughs> <laughs> Perry County Whitetails. He's a big boy. <laughs> It's the biggest one I ever drug out. Perfect down to the bottom. Run out of gas on it. No. Oh, never blew yeah. out a foot block. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, just stand there and look at it. Oh. Oh. You're not a one at Oh, is that a big, big old schnoz. He does have a schnoz, doesn't he? He's got a Roman nose. You guys need a break. Me and Jay will pull a while. <laughs> hey, look. The stuff's the heart and this out of the pocket and it wedged its way over here. Oh, I see. It's sticking its little nose out. And now, Dad, you can pull up my other glove. Nope. I didn't see it. It's funny. You wedged it in this pocket and it stuck its nose out this one.
That's every bit of a 130 inch buck.